Yo, welcome back to a new video on my channel, Revenant Deck, and this is my first video where I'm showing my face. I really wanted to do this for a long time, and I think now is the right moment to do it. Let me really quick introduce me before we start the video. I'm Seppe, I'm 19 years old, and I do live in Belgium. This channel will mainly about Apple products and stuff, but in the future I want to do also other products, but now I will keep it on Apple. And I also want to do point of view photography videos really soon, I think next week I will upload my first photography video. So stay tuned for that. So let's get into the video of today. That's about my setup. I really hope you will like the video. So let's get into my first products I do use. I will go over all the products I do use in my setup and I do use outside my setup. So of course my iPhone 13 Pro Max. This phone is amazing. I did not have it. I think almost a year because it's almost September. So in September we will get the new iPhones. I'm really hyped for that. I will also make a video about that. So stay tuned. I also have the AirPods Pro, of course, this is the first generation because Apple did not, on the moment of filming the video, release new AirPods Pro 2 or something. But I think at the end of this year, they will release with new ones. The next thing is, of course, the Apple Watch Series 7. I have it now on my wrist, as you can see, and it looks so clean. The screen is curved, and I do love that. It's just amazing. I wish there was a long battery life and stuff, but maybe we'll get it in the Series 8. I think I heard leaks Apple will make an Apple Watch Series 8 Pro. I will see what that will mean, but we're almost at the next Apple event. So this video is sponsored by Sandmark. I did get two cases, one for my iPhone 13 Pro Max and one for the AirPods Pro. On the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the case is so amazing. Around the camera, there's like some metal attachment stuff to attach lenses. They will only work with the Sandmark lenses, but you can just put lenses on and make the camera from the iPhone 13 Pro Max even better. I will place a link in the description of the iPhone 13 Pro Max case from Sandmark. This is also leather and it does also have MagSafe, so in this case it works with MagSafe Duo and of course the other MagSafe stuff like the MagSafe Wallet and of course the whole lineup of Ashes words of MagSafe. Also the AirPods Pro case is also out black leather and it does have a strap. You can also get this in brown leather I think and some other colors. So I'll put the link in the description to the website of Sandmark that you can see what products they have and what you can buy. Let's get back into the video. So now I'm gonna talk about the next thing of my setup and those are the products I do use a lot. So let's get started with the first one. That are AirPods Max and I use this a lot if I'm editing videos but I also want to listen silently to good music. This AirPods Max sound amazing. I do also have a video of it if these are still worth in 2022. The next product I do use a lot is my iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the M1 chip inside. I did also do it with a SIM card slot in it because then I can use it everywhere without needing my phone. So I have four and 5G on this iPad so that's really nice. The screen is beautiful but I will make a deeper dive into this iPad one year later soon so stay tuned for that video. The next thing I use also a lot is my 14 inch MacBook Pro and this laptop is so powerful. This is the one with 1TB SSD, 32GB of undefined memory. This is the M1 Max with a 10 core CPU and a 24 core GPU. I do use it for editing, Photoshop and all that stuff, Lightroom, Classic. I do also have the Magic Mouse. I don't use it right now because I don't have a good mouse pad on the moment but I really wanted to buy one but I did not find the time. I always forgetting to buy me a mouse pad for the Magic Mouse. Maybe you already have seen it but I do have the Satachi 165 watt PD charger and this thing is amazing. It's fast in charging. It does what it needs to do. It's all USB-C. I have four ports so I can charge my MacBook, my iPads. I can charge even my gimbal, my drone at the same time. So the next thing you see is a Sony charger. This is just for charging the batteries of my camera. And while we are busy talking about the battery of my camera, I will tell which camera I do have and where I'm filming with. I do have the Sony A7S III. It's a 10-bit camera that supports 4K to 120Hz. This camera is crazy. So the next thing are the lenses. I do have two lenses. The first one is a Tamron 28-75mm f2.4. The next lens is where I'm filming with. That's the Sony G Master 24mm f1.4. On my camera is an ND filter, it's a free well, it's a 2.5 stop so I can change the lightning. I'll really quick show you like as you can see. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the gimbal. I do have the DJI Air 3 combo. My next camera is the GoPro Hero 10. I see it as a camera because it is a camera. The next thing is I do also have a DJI Mini 2. I did not buy the DJI Mini 3 Pro because for now I don't use a drone as much 
much. Maybe you already have seen it, but behind me here is an IKEA whole board. I don't know the right name for it. It's just a board. There are some boxes on it, and there are some SD cards in it, some bricks, some batteries, some cables is also on the board, and my Apple Watch bands and stuff. It's really nice to have this. It looks really good on the part of my setup on the side. So now we're going to the left side of my room. There's my TV. I'm watching not every day on this TV, but sometimes in the week, mostly Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I use this TV. Otherwise, I use my iPad to watch TV or YouTube or something. This is a Samsung TV. It's 4K. It's not the best quality. It's not QLED or something. It's not 100 Hz or something. It's just 60 Hz. It's a good TV for what it is. For me, it's 4K and I'm happy with it. Under my TV is an Apple TV box. This is the Apple TV 2021 model. The reason why I do have an Apple TV on my Samsung TV is I really do love the Apple software and it's it's really easy to connect my AirPods to it and I really love the smoothness of an Apple TV if you're like scrolling and stuff it's just like iOS and if you have an Apple ecosystem I do really recommend to have an Apple TV maybe not the 2021 version but maybe you can get a cheaper one but yeah if you have the money and you really want a good software on your TV just buy an Apple TV now we're going to the gaming side of my room I will be honest I don't game as much as before like maybe one times in a month maybe one times in two months so I'm really thinking to sell this PC I'm not sure yet but I will think about it and maybe I will sell it and invest in some other things but for now I will hold it and I will see in the future I will really quick go over the specs what are in this PC so let's go the first thing you see of course is the case normally there's a, also a glass on the front but I did remove it for this video because it has a ton of reflections so, so the case is the Corsair Crystal 570X RGB it's just a glass case as I was saying I really love the look the motherboard in it is the Asus Maximus VI Hero next thing is the processor and that's the Intel Core i9 9900K it's really fast for gaming not for professional work but it can get handle a lot this PC so for gaming this is perfectly fine for now maybe if GG6 ever comes out I really wanted a better PC but for now I'm not gonna upgrade this PC so what is cooling my i9 that's the NZXT Kraken X53 my memory in this PC is a Corsair Vanish RGB Pro it has DDR4 3000 MHz it's 32 GB of memory it's also overkill for gaming but it looks really nice to have like four slots filled with this light I really love it my graphic card in this PC is a Asus Nvidia GeForce GTX 1070 and this is not the best graphic card on the moment RTX graphic cards but I will be honest at the beginning of 2021 I really wanted an RTX 3090 but I don't need it and I did buy me a MacBook Pro 14 inch so yeah I am happier with my 14 inch MacBook Pro than a graphic card my power supply in this PC is a Corsair CX 550M and yeah it just power supply it does have 550 watts also in my motherboard is, is a Samsung M.2 SSD it's one terabyte so it's blazing fast because it's directly connected to my motherboard so that were my specs of this PC if you want more in depth I will play some stuff in the description about everything I will do this for every product if I can find it above my PC are nano leaf tiles there are 12 tiles I do have I really love the look of it it's coming out of my PC so it's yeah something I like and I did set it up going from red to lighter red and then go to purple it also works with home kits by the way every light in this room is Philips Hue or nano leaf so now we're going to the screens of my setup the first screen that you see is a Samsung 49 inch ultra wide screen it does have 144 Hertz and I'm mostly using it for gaming if I'm gaming of course above my Samsung screen is an Asus uh, rock 27 inch screen it's also 144 Hertz and it's really smooth also so yeah that are two screens I really love the look how I did that it's like just my ultra wide screen and then above it my 27 inch screen the reason why I did that is because uh, normally uh, I did not have a MacBook before so I was editing so like my timeline was in the 49 inch screen and above that was my preview of the video what I was editing but now I don't use it and maybe I want to connect my MacBook to the screens then maybe I can use it as how I use it on my Windows PC and now we're going to the accessories that I'm used for gaming and the first one is my mouse of this PC and that's the Razer Viper Ultimate wireless and if I'm gaming I don't game with keyboard and mouse I do it with my controller that's the Xbox Elite 2 the next thing is my keyboard and that's the Razer Black Widow V3 Pro it's also wireless I do really love wireless but let me be honest this battery of this keyboard sucks the headset I use for gaming is a SteelSeries Artex 7 Plus and this is the last thing in my setup that's my cabinet 
there are some boxes of it from Apple and my camera boxes are on it and as you can see there's also a HomePod on it. This is a HomePod from 2018 and this sounds amazing. So this was my first video where I was talking directly into a camera without script. It's really hard for me but it did work and I hope you did like this and if you want that I make more of these videos let me know and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with all your friends and family and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.